Love is in the air for some Americans. That's right. A new CBS News polling uh, spreadsheet shows who is planning to celebrate Valentine's Day. It just might surprise you. Take a look at this. About half of Americans say they will celebrate today. But consider this. Out of the people who are in committed relationships, 68% are celebrating. Um, I hope the partners of the other 32% are on board, but I guess that would make sense. All right. Well, roughly 45% of people say that they are going to give their loved ones flour or candy. They also plan to go out to eat. But here's an interesting tidbit. If you're looking to save money, the National Restaurant Association says 40% of Americans actually celebrate Valentine's Day after the fact to get a better deal. Yeah, that makes sense. I understand that. And for the people not celebrating, 34% says, look, the reason why is because the holiday is just too commercial. I love that excuse. And 10% 10% <laughs> say, well, they're just too busy, okay? So get off their back. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, Happy Earl. Valentine's Day. Well, for the people who aren't too busy, many have matched with their Valentine online. That's right. And if that seems too good to be true, uh, it just might be. Oh, the no. Federal Trade Commission is warning now of online scammers, including those so-called romance scams. There were 70,000 uh, reported romance scams in 2022. And this is the real crux of it. It was uh, resulted in losses worth $1.3 billion. Bree Fowler is with us here in Studio 57. She covered this in her recent article for CNET, where she's a senior cybersecurity writer. So, Bree, talk to us about the, what these romance scams look like. You know, you might get a, a text or an email or someone might reach out to you on social media and just say, hey, you look kind of cute. And try to strike up a conversation, build trust, build a relationship. Also, may, it may also come through a dating app. And I know there's no real age limits on this. Mm -hmm. We all remember that there was a Netflix show, The Tinder Swindler, mm -hmm. or someone who was able to kind of get money from so many women who were willingly giving up information on the hopes of meeting someone who loved them. But in your article, you write that artificial intelligence now making this even more difficult to detect. So give viewers some news they can use. How can they filter through that well absolutely ai makes it so much easier to launch all kinds of scams they're more sophisticated and they're more of them and with a little bit of research scammers can do things that they never would have done before when it comes to scamming just untold numbers of people and you really have to be careful when you are online you know, looking for a possible match. How might you tell them? Well, you know, it, anything that's unsolicited, you just have to have a red flag. Um, you know, I get stuff all the time on, you know, things like LinkedIn, you know, uh, stuff like that. But, you know, it's really hard for people when it comes to things like online dating and apps because you're supposed to be matching with people. You're supposed to be yeah. talking online. And so many people meet their partners this yeah. way. So it's this is a bummer of a story and we're trying to protect people. Yeah. I, I'm wondering uh, how do you make sure that the person you're talking to is actually a person? Well, you know, you, you can't basically. And if somebody can't keeps making an excuse as to why they can't meet you in person. If they say that they're on an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico or in the military or, you know, in Ukraine and they need money to get out, those are all red flags. Um, you need to find a social media footprint. You need to somehow verify that people are who they say they are. And, and that's really hard. And you say to them, give me a picture of you right now with today's newspaper. Oh, my God. OK, <laughs> prove to me you're real. Because Ooh, really, like, set it up. Yeah, and say, look, if you're real, show me. Um, but it's sad, but at least you're trying to yeah, raise awareness. Yeah, a Google image search is actually, a reverse image search is ah. actually really helpful with that. If somebody comes back as a stock photo or as someone else, stay away. That good is good advice. advice. Brief file, the folks should read your article. Thanks for joining us here Thanks in Studio 57. Well, coming up throughout the afternoon on CBS News, reaction from Capitol Hill and a breakdown of what's next after the historic impeachment of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Negotiators continue to push to reach a ceasefire in Gaza while Israel prepares a new ground offensive near the Egyptian border. And major developments are expected by the end of the week in as many as three of the court cases revolving around former President Donald Trump. And why are we at over $200 billion? All right. And you're seeing the Kansas City Chiefs. They're still celebrating. We'll be right back.